be able to navigate all the challenges. So welcome everyone. Um, let's get started with our stand up today. Uh, and as usual, we are going to be starting with um, everyone sharing guys uh, how has been yesterday and also if you can talk a little bit of how you can define this week on your end. Um, what was the experience in general? Let's get started. Anyone who wants to go first? Anyone who wants to go first? Yes, good morning to everyone who sent the good morning in the chat box. But anyone who wants to go first? Tell us how was yesterday and a little bit about your view on the whole week. How has it been? Oh, hello, hello, everyone. I believe we're not going to be mentioning names. Anyone who wants to go first? Yes, Ayaya, you can take the floor. Morning, Pascaline and everyone. Uh, yeah, the last week has been tough, but Yesterday we had a little bit of time, uh, so yeah, I'm trying my best to uh, complete all the assignments. I believe I can finish them in time, uh, and I'm feeling better now. I'm guess get used to this whole intense situation, but yeah, it, it's good now. Thank you. Okay, happy to hear that everything is going well for you, Aya. Yeah. Um, anyone else? You can nominate someone else to go next. Uh, maybe Alexander? Sorry, bra. <laughs> Alexander? Hello, good morning to everyone. So I guess I'm just going to go. Um, okay, right. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is having a good day. Um, my day yesterday was, uh, I learned a lot because I had uh, too many bugs. So I learned a lot from fixing them. And today I'm looking for forward to finishing all the tasks so that tomorrow I can go on and do the streamlit. So I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, so should I pick the next person or? Absolutely. Everything okay? There are no blockers at all on your side, Carol? There are, there are. There are a lot, but I keep on, I keep on fixing the bug, so it's all good. Okay, let us so. know if there is anything we can support with. You can nominate the next person. So I have a brother named Bob Basliel, so I'm going, I'm going to go with that. Basliel. You know, uh, usually no one nominates me because my name is Hartis. <laughs> uh, yeah, so things are going quite okay so far. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying to get through the challenge and since we're closer to the end now, I'm trying to finish them up and, uh, and also trying to prepare the reports. Uh, so far, not so much of a 
significant blocker. I have had to go back to my data cleaning a couple of times because um, as I further and further, I, I discover more, uh, I discover problems. I, I have to go back, clean them up and come back. So that's taking up some time, but so far, it's so good. Uh, should I know the next person? Absolutely, Bezala. Uh, okay, so let me know it, Ms. Gano. Ms. Gano, Parion. Okay, hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so uh, yesterday, so I tried to do most of tasks in the task form. So I try to do some EDS, I try to do the k-means clustering and something like that. So this time, one thing I I try to do different from Monday to Tuesday is uh, I try to write reports when I finish one task. For example, uh, if I finish task three, I will write the report for that. And if I finish task four, uh, I will write the report for that. I think that makes easier for me instead of writing the whole report at one time, I think I found that to be useful. Maybe you can try it. You can try that as well. So for today, I'm planning to work on task five and the carrier tasks. Yeah, that's my plan. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Gown. Um, let me need someone else to go next. Okay, so maybe the river. Hello, morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Uh, yesterday was yesterday was uh, very good. I'm uh, trying to finish user engagement and the data cleaning part. Today, I'm focusing more on user experience and the user satisfaction part. And uh, I'm rushing to make uh, the developers uh, ready before submission deadlines and uh, writing uh, the reports. Thanks. Great, great. It's positive news only today. That's great. Nominate someone else to go next, Bilbo. Jara, Jara Guta. Maybe I can change. What about Fanil? Fanil Abdabe. Uh, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Uh, is it clear? Yes, we can. Uh, OK. So yesterday, uh, I tried to uh, finish task three, uh, which I didn't before. Like, I, I didn't meet the deliverables for uh, Wednesday which was a bummer, but I'm still trying to, you know, figure out the big picture and, you know, trying to find the idea that how the project is, you know, what the expectations are and stuff. Uh, so yesterday I tried to do task three and for today uh, I'm trying to go through task four and I'm planning to write a report also. And I'm trying to organize my project as referred to the stream deck project. And uh, as uh, I don't know if it was Ms. Gano mentioned, I'm trying to go back and do some data cleaning. So that helps a lot with uh, you know data modeling and predictions. So that's what I'm trying to do for today. Thank you so much, Fanel. Nominate the next person. Uh, I nominate Elias. Hello, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Can you hear me? 
Okay. Yes, we can hear you, Elias. Okay, hello. Uh, yesterday was as earlier of uh, other my other my team mentioned yesterday was a little bit better because we have a little time, a little bit time to and <clears throat> I try to go to through the data since uh, the, since I'm new to telecom data it's hard to understand it so as everybody else earlier said. It, I, I go back and forth cleaning the data and uh, try to, well, yesterday I was trying to do on user engagement analysis and I'm almost over on that. And today I, I'm planning to go further and into user experience and writing reports. Uh, the whole week was, the whole week it started a little bit intense, but it's starting to get better. And I'm, I think I'm managing it and I'm catching up. And uh, today, I, beside the user experience and the reports, I try to, I will try to do the career challenge too. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Elias. Uh, yep, next. Next. Uh, Meron, she here. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, yesterday, uh, I have done uh, task four, experience analysis part, uh, and I was trying to finish task three. Those are I couldn't complete before. And uh, today I will do the remaining task five and uh, that. Uh, Abdul Abdul Hamid Musa. The next. Hi guys, how are you doing? So um, the past week has been a lot of learning for me. Uh, I was not that much. Uh, well oriented with the data science aspect of the project, uh, the, the tasks ahead. So I was taking my time to understand each and every uh, concepts related to the uh, data EDR analysis. So that's what took my uh, time mostly. But now I have uh, more or less uh, gained uh, uh, enough knowledge that I will be able to undertake uh, the tasks ahead. So uh, that's what the past week has been for me. So thank you. Um, I will no nominate the next person, Daniel Gada. Daniel. OK, if not. Um, Alexander Mangasha. Alexander had some microphone issues. Uh, probably we go with uh, uh, Dorcas. Okay. Now I can. Alexander, you hear? I can. Oh, I can. Check the floor. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Good morning, God. Good morning. Uh, Do you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, there is very much intensive uh, week. Uh, I have already prepared my machine learning model uh, from uh, EDA to machine learning model. I have already completed. Uh, today, I will prepare my model uh, for deployment purpose and learn more about uh, today localization. Uh, still to now, uh, yesterday afternoon, still I have completed career exercises. I will already submit uh, for the time being now. I'm reading to understand some concepts about uh, localization and I will revise uh, 
the PowerPoint given by the team and learn and understand more about the concepts of dockerization. Last, lastly, in the afternoon, I'll try to deploy my model. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Alex. Um, thank you for everyone who shared. Super happy to hear how you are progressing and you're trying to navigate all the bugs that are there or any challenges you're facing. Keep it up. Can we uh, now move on to anyone who have been facing any issues or who have a question? Our tutors are here and they will be helping. Yes, Rodolfo. Uh, happy and blessed Friday for everyone. Uh, very an intensive week for all of us. <laughs> so, so far, <laughs> I'm managing your progressing. And yesterday, I can say yesterday was a little bit um, productive for me because I didn't have any crash uh any problem so uh i focus a little bit on my ed task uh, special the task tool and uh, at the end i have a concern uh, at the end of the task tool it is where they ask to 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 keep the important the important uh features i mean the the dimension uh, the dimension reduction so for that part one, uh, I have a question. In my understanding, it is um, we we need to remove, uh, we need to treat the missing value before uh, performing the dimension reduction. And I can figure out that uh, in the next task, like uh, the task four. It is where we were asked to to perform the missing the, the missing value. I mean, to treat the missing value. So my question is, if uh, shall I forget about the dimension reduction tasks and move for the task four before performing? And I don't know if uh, I, I just want the the opinion of the others of my peers it would be helpful so apart from that what, what i was planning to do today is to go for the modeling because uh, if i if i finish this part i can now uh try to pick a model and and be that model so this is uh, what i can say so far thank you for listening Thanks for sharing, Rodolphe. Uh, you all had um, the, the question from Rodolphe. Anyone who wants to help? Yes, Yvonne. Uh, you can just copy the data if you want to do dimension reduction, because dimension reduction doesn't work with object data types. So, you can copy the numeric data types to a new data frame and then do the dimension reductions from there and fill in the missing values of the numeric data types from there. And then after working with that data frame, your data, you, the original data frame won't be tampered with. You will still have your original data frame and you will still have done the dimension reduction. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Yvonne. Good idea. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Yvonne. Anyone else who has also a question or needs support? Anyone else? Yes, Nuria. 
Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, for the last three days uh, or four days, I was <laughs> challenged a little bit. Uh, actually, I've done so much of uh, the questions that has been asked. But in, in yesterday's class, you were presenting. Uh, our presenter was presenting about the um, data modeling called Project Diabetic like uh, decoration or something and i want to have that file but uh, couldn't find on github so i want to know where i can that uh, i can find that file too and the other thing is uh, we are going to design dashboard using stream lights uh, also um, are we going to use them, uh, the data of the telecom database or uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about it also. Uh, that's my question. Mm. And the other is the fourth task and fifth task is to be done, like uh, based on the telecom database, I think, if I'm not uh, wrong. So that's my question. Where I can find this project diabetic uh, GitHub file? Okay, Nurjie. Um, Rahmet or Emtina, you want to take the question? Or Mahlet, any tutor? Uh, as we wait seeing uh, for them to share us, anyone who knows how to navigate that, that they can share with Nuria how to do so. Hello, Tim. Or do you want him to repeat the question? Let me get some reactions, or you don't understand the question as well. So can I repeat? Yes, yes, please. Probably repeat the question and see if we have someone. OK. In mm -hmm. yesterday, uh, there was uh, a project called Project Diabetic uh, Model, which have uh, EDA or some machine learning models that have been done, done inside. And she was making decorization, uh, et cetera. So I wanted to have that file in my desktop so I couldn't find from the GitHub. So if there is anybody who can help me to get that file, that was my question. Question one. The question two was uh, the dashboard has required to be designed with stream lights. So am I going to design with it with the telecom database or the other databases? These are the two questions that I'm, I was asking. Uh, so, yes, uh, here's Imtinan. Um, I, I don't quite get the, uh, your question, really. So, um, um, what is this question about the database? Sorry, can you, can you repeat again? Telecom database uh, yes. that previously has been shared, right? Yeah. So are we going to design the dashboard with the analysis that we made based on that database or 
another thing. No, you're, it's uh, about the analysis you did with this data, with the telecom database, yes. So, okay. yeah, so the, all this analysis, the data you get, uh, the ADA and all the um, analysis you have been doing all of this week, you should like put as much of that in your dashboard. And yeah. Uh, with a new uh, branch or like uh, just create uh, some folder inside of my GitHub repository? Uh, yeah, so um, for the screenshot or the, the, the code for the streamlet itself. Okay, I, I don't need to put it on my GitHub or? No, you, you I mean, if you want to, okay, uh, the, the, put everything on your GitHub. Put the okay. code uh, for your streamlet app, put it on GitHub, whether you deploy it or not, please try to deploy it. And uh, also, if you don't deploy it, uh, the screenshots, you can also put them on your GitHub um, repo as well as sharing them. Uh, OK. The other is, where can I get the project diabetic uh, model? Couldn't get the link. The link for the model. Uh, I'm not sure what you're, what you're asking about is this. Can you write in Slack, maybe? Because I'm not, I'm not quite um, clear on what you're asking. So maybe some of the other tutors can ask, answer this, um, or maybe I will understand it better. Okay. Okay. Someone okay. shared. I think shared uh, yeah, someone before. shared something. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, Nuria, everything all right now? Yeah, it's all right. Thank you. Okay, okay, happy to hear that. Daniel, you can go next. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing good. So yesterday, uh, as everyone said, I got uh, time to get back and uh, review my ta tasks, I mean, uh, from task two and task three. So I was working on the clear cleaning the data sheet. So I removed some columns based on the number of errors and uh, the predictive power. I mean, if the column doesn't add value to our analysis, we remove it as simple as that. But uh, my blocker is after we clean the data, we still have uh, some uh, columns with less number of missing values. So are we going to fill all missing value or uh, we have to be selected. It's, this is my question. Thank you, guys. Emtinan, you are muted. Um. Yes, sorry. Um. Someone asked a question, I, I missed it, sorry, again. Um. Okay, can I repeat it? Yes, repeat, please, I'm so sorry. So after I clean the, some uh, field is based on the number of uh, missing values and the predictive power, I, there are still a uh, few columns with less uh, number of missing values. So are we going to fill all fields or have to be selected? Uh, well, unless you, I mean any of the features you want to keep, uh, you have to deal with the missing values. So you have to either like uh, get rid of the records that have missing values, or you can fill them with whatever like uh, mean, average, like mode, or some. Choose one of these possible ways of miss filling missing values. So you have to deal with the missing values. You cannot. You cannot use a machine learning mod algorithm with missing values in your features. So, have to do with it. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, if we have to fill all, all fields, right? Whether uh, yeah. it's categorical or uh, numerical. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So there are methods to, to fill missing values yeah. for categorical uh, values and for numerical values. So, you choose and, yeah. Okay. You have to deal with all the missing values. Okay, thanks. No 
All right, uh, Alexander. Okay. Uh, already the question is answered. That I raised my hand to try to answer the question. It's already answered. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, anyone else with a question? Or a blocker? Yes, Kulani. Hi. So uh, I did try to finish up to the end of task three, and I haven't done much after that. That's, it was a bit challenging for me. And the question I have is, uh, I couldn't change. I was doing it on the notebook, on the Jupyter notebook. So the data were loading, the, the plots were showing up, but I couldn't. Uh, I wasn't able to, to do it with the Streamlight engine. Uh, could you give me any resource how to change that or something? Okay. Um, um, sure, there was. Uh, did you check the the resources from week zero when you had this uh, introduction to Streamlit before? Yeah, but. Um, when I change it to the Python file, to the Python script and load it, only the data will be shown and the other codes won't be visible. Can it be won't ready. be working. I'm facing errors there. Okay. Um, I, I might be uh, way wrong here, but um, um, depending on what you're using for plotting, um, I'm not sure if everything is, is supported on I, I might be saying something really wrong. So, um, okay, uh, can you, like, whatever error you're getting exactly, can you share that on Slack maybe? And then, uh, like, we can help you there. So, um, okay. so just to, to make, to be specific and, uh, yeah. Okay. We have to do that, that. Okay. okay? Okay, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Um, anyone else? Great, great. But if you face any kind of challenges as we have three deliverables that are due tomorrow, uh, techni three technical ones and two career ones that are due tomorrow, if you get to face any challenge or need any support or anything, please report it in the slack channel or even uh get to inbox anyone that it, it it concerns if it's about careers you can inbox me or inbox abdullahi if it's about uh, anything technical you can post it in the main channels all week one or even um get to inbox emptina or rehmet i can see binyam you have you raised your hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you for giving me the chance. I have a little bit of question. It's okay. not related directly to the to the to the tasks that were given, but it's sort of personal. I kind of lost all my data yesterday because my SSD crashed because I was trying to you know fix some stuff in my PC and I kind of lost all my data and now I'm starting like from almost like day one of week one. So do we get like, can I like get an extension of maybe like 24 hours to catch up? I've done, you know, a significant, you know, some amount of uh, progress, but I'm a bit behind since like I'm starting from at zero. I have some data, but I'm like left behind oh. a little bit, so. Got it, got it. Uh, can you, inbox empty now and then you figure out the ways forward together okay on slack yeah on slack okay. yes and and uh yeah just to speak generally not uh, specific to your problem this is something that you have to uh, like uh, all of you have to like uh, make sure that you don't fall into this. So when you are working with uh, GitHub, when you're working with a repo, you can push all of your 
progress basically so that you don't lose it when anything happened to your computer but anyway you you can um, message me and we can figure out what we can can be done okay 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 i'll message you. thank you okay. thank you everyone so a little bit about today uh we are going to be having the next session is going to be a hot seat it's going to be kind of a routine or traditions on fridays where we get to put different people especially people from the staff on a hot seat and then you can get to ask them any questions so today we are starting with our very own arun can i see who's excited who's excited <laughs> so arun is going to be joining us and he's going to be on the host a hot seat what does that mean it's like you have a seat there and it's a hot seat so like it's people are asking you hot fire questions they can be about his profession they can be about his you know him as just a person his personal life anything you want to know anything you're curious about any kind of um you know anything just say anything anything that you can ask here um it's going to be in the next few me few minutes no in an hour and a few minutes you can follow the calendar that we have and then right after that we'll be having a career session the career session that i told you yesterday uh that carrot is going to be heading that carrot is going to be heading uh also it's going to be about ideas worth spreading i told you much about it yesterday uh we will go through it again um today when the session gets to start and then after that we have the guest talk so today is literally about listening and asking questions and getting inspired and you know getting the motivation we need to go into uh week two straight so the guest talk, we have our very own guest. You can find more about him in all broadcasts. Rhoda shared about uh, what he does um, just there, there. Please go read. But we're going to be hosting him at 3 p.m. Um, UTC. So yeah, make sure that you join because he is an alumni of a 10 Academy and he's doing wonderful, wonderful things out there out there he's a senior ai and advanced analytics consultant guys big time big time i believe we all aspire most of us aspire to step into those kind of levels as we finish our program here so ensure that you also get to join so see you see you uh in the next session with arun it's gonna be a hot seat i hope nobody misses it and thank you for showing up today in the stand up have a great day. Have a great day. Okay, okay. Yes, see you, see you. Absolutely. See you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>